I use the femtosecond layers on a routine basis. The Z8 is a low energy, high frequency femtosecond laser. It is a portable system and can be wheeled. We prefer the Femto LDV Z8 because we can easily integrate it in our workflow without any time delay. This is a quite crucial in a high volume clinic. The Z8 comes with a liquid interface for cataract surgery. It is a no touch interface which maintains the shape of the cornea. The suction system contains several sensors so that the vacuum on the eye guaranteed during the cutting process. Since it is a low energy laser, it creates only a small amount of bubbles, so I always have quite a clear view. The clear condensations open very easily. I prefer to have them close to the limbus, and the laser is able to cut them very well in the periphery too. My standard settings are 0.8 mm for the power synthesis and 2.2 mm for the main incision. The latter is multiplanar incision, which is watertight. The cystotome is used to double check the integrity of the capsulotomy. However, in over 1300 cases, I always have experienced a free floating capsulotomy. In this case, I used a spider web pattern with six segments and one ring. During hydraulic session, I used the BSS. As a FACO device, I use the Catarax 3 from Earthly. The easy tip is 2.2 mm and defines the wide of the main incision. This is another advantage of a laser because I can pre-program the wide of the clear cone incision precisely according to the instruments I use. One of them is the Neuhand chopper. It has a round tip and is therefore harmless and prevents intraoperative trauma at the capsule. I use the stop and chop method. The cataract allows me to use a high vacuum up to 600 mm of mercury so I can easily mobilize the prefragmented nucleus. This together with the laser fragmentation of the lens enables a low effective FACO time. Another important factor is not to move the FACO tip during the surgery. I deliver the segments to the FACO tip so I do not stretch the main incision and it remains watertight. I use disposable instruments during the irrigation aspiration process. When I am aspirating the cortex, I do not feel a difference to the conventional case. This might be because of the low energy the laser applies, so there is no stickiness. This is an aspheric oil by Nidec. Since the main incision was pre-programmed and pre-cut by the laser, I do not need to widen it for the oil injector. So I can do it without the knife and save time. Here is also use Biolon Visco. The haptics of the UL should always be horizontal in order to prevent photopsia. With irrigation and an aspiration and improve the remaining Visco also behind the IOL. Then I hydrate the prosynthesis. At the end of the surgery, I apply antibiotics, specifically Aprocam. I take the same time to perform conventional or femto procedures. It does not make any difference as far our patient scheduling is concerned. It's all about planning and organization.